When the mission first deployed, the situation in Haiti was extremely volatile. You had gangs controlling entire areas in the slums. Kidnapping was endemic. But over the past five years since the mission has been on the ground, we've really seen a marked improvement in, in the security situation. Now the situation is essentially stable. Crime rates have dropped drastically. The mission is training Haitian National Police Force, which is now 10,000 strong and will reach about 14,000 in 2011. Every peacekeeping operation is unique, and the same is true for MINUSTA, but like other peacekeeping operations, here you have a mixture of contingents from around the world. Brazilians, Guatemalans, Sri Lankans, Filipinos, Nepalese, all working together in the cause of peace and they truly enjoy the experience of being able to learn from each other and reach out across cultures and languages. Trabajar con otros ejércitos como lo hacemos en Naciones Unidas es una labor bastante gratificante. Al final el objetivo es el mismo, pero las diferencias mínimas obedecen a los tipos de cultura y sí es interesante estar con ese tipo de acción. When MINUSTA first deployed, Cité Soleil, which is one of the main slums in Bon Prince, was under the control of a number of criminal gangs, which were basically preying on the population. In the Cité Soleil before, we were a hotspot out of our country. Now we can say that it's under our country. In the early part of 2007, the MINUSTA force, under the leadership of General de Sanchez Cruz, launched a series of robust operations against gang leaders and really changed the face of Haiti and changed the course of the stabilization process. The Brazilian troops that are operating in Cité Soleil, like a lot of peacekeeping contingents, carry out their hearts and minds activities which are really aimed at winning the confidence of the population. At first, uh, Cité Soleil, we couldn't uh, get in there. And now the people are on the streets. It's a great work. In Cité Soleil, we have a patrol every time, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We can make a full distribution, humanitarian assistance and medical assistance for the poor people, for the suffering people of Cité Soleil. Many start the day in the food with my people. That's what make me good in my heart. For I am praying God for help me in the, the need and the security in job in the fruit any more anything. One of the really innovative aspects of what MINUSTA is doing in Haiti is its community violence reduction program. The CBR program is a pilot attempt to kind of straddle the bridge between intense uh, stabilization efforts and then recovery efforts within communities. What was originally a disarmament program became a community violence reduction program which works in cooperation with security actors in Haiti to look at who's most vulnerable to violence perpetrated by gangs, but also who's vulnerable to recruitment. I up in the hill above Port France, there's an absolutely beautiful area called Kanskov. And there, MINUSTA, through its Quick Impact project funding, has helped to support a community drinkable water project. The fact that people now have access to clean water, they don't have to trek for miles and miles to get it, has really brought about a marked improvement in their lives. The work that the peacekeepers have done here has been remarkable. It's a situation that in many ways is beyond the kinds of situations that peacekeeping operations are set up to deal with. I have very good feeling about Haiti. The uh, security situation is, is getting better thanks to the hard work of military people from yeah. different countries. <laughs> Bill Clinton was appointed in May as the UN Special Envoy for Haiti. And his main role is really to, to try and help the Haitians take advantage of the window of opportunity that's been provided by the Minister's presence to help change the image of Haiti. But to take advantage of all that is going to require a massive effort that goes well beyond the capacity of any peacekeeping operation. Peacekeeping is a necessary but not sufficient condition 
to put a country like Haiti back on the path to lasting stability and development.